everybody. Happy Talk to Me Tuesday. I will try and keep it very brief this week because I only have two things to show. Um, that's because one of them is really big and it's taken me a really long time and it's still not done. Um, but it is at a place where I can show it off and so I shall do so. Um, but I do want to say a really quick thank you so much to Alia. Um, she sent the cutest Hunger Games themed cross stitch for my, um, for my little niece Madison. And um, I'm going to wait and hold off showing that off because I'm not sure if she wants me to show it off or if she wants to show it off in her video. Um, and I think she's on hiatus this week. So I will hold off on that. But thank you so much, Alia. That was just so nice of you. And she's going to love it so much. Um, okay, so I have been working on a cross stitch that I wanted to have for my classroom. And I anticipate it being a little bigger than this. It's going to be really tiny, so it's going to probably be in like a little frame on my desk, which is fine, but kind of defeats the purpose. Um, and it says, think before you speak. And it's obviously, it's not finished. Um, I like these colors because they're kind of like primary classroom colors. Um, it says, think before you speak. And it's, it says something along the lines of, is it truthful? Is it honest? Is it intelligent? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Um, Obviously, the first letters of those spelling out think. Um, and I thought that was really appropriate because I try to teach my class and my, my students, especially my English students, that words have a lot of power. And if we're going to use them, we need to learn how to use them properly because, um, you know, words may not be tangible, but they can bring down kingdoms or whatever. So, yeah, exciting. Um, I'm using a 24 count um, cloth. And I swear, it makes me want to die. It's horrible. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Um, I did my very first cross stitch on this exact same um, linen. I, I used leftovers for this project. I don't know how I managed to do that entire Jane Austen cross stitch. Um, it's just, it's killing my hand. I don't know. Something is going on because it's a big thing pain in the butt. And I think it looks not so hot. Um, I had to wing it on a lot of, especially the think, the big blocky letters. Um, my fingers started callousing, which maybe is a good thing, but, oh, man, please remind me never, ever to do anything in that teeny, tiny little fabric ever again. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, so then I also have a finished quilt top. Oh, my God. Um, it's really exciting. It's my... um. Well, it's not my, I guess it's not my first, but I've done two small lot quilts. One, um, I think I showed a really long time ago, I made for my niece for her first birthday. It's really simple. I drafted the pattern myself. It actually kind of looks crappy, but we're not going to go there. It's fine. Um, and then I had a little lot quilt that I made for, um, for a girlfriend who um, was going through some rough times. And it was just a small lap quilt, and I used some leftover satin and some fun green paisley fabric. Uh, but those are very small. This one is actually going to be um, usable. Um, certainly she could hang it on her wall if she wanted to, but um, this is for Madison. This is for my niece who is going in for surgery in September. Um, and my hope was that it would be, um, you know, not too big, um, mainly because I, I just I haven't tried a project that large before. Um, but also that, you know, she's very tiny. She's, I think, I'm pretty sure she's 11. I know I should know these things, but she's wise beyond her years. She talks like a 25-year-old in a teeny, teeny, tiny little body. So this should be a good size for her. It's about 45 by 45, give or take a couple inches. Um, so I thought that that would be a good size for her to um, be able to bring with her when she goes into the hospital, that she can use it before. Um, and then afterwards, because I'm sure she's going to have to stay at least a couple days there, and that can really stink. I always hated going to the hospital. Um, I, I went in for a couple surgeries when I was younger, and it's, uh, hospital food sucks. But, I mean, like, even just the hospital bed, it's gross. So I wanted to give her something that she could have with her. Um, her favorite color is teal, so I try to take that into account. But I also found a really fun boutique fabric. Um, that I just really liked, and so I decided to use, and I thought it worked well. She's not a big fan of pink, nor am I, but I thought this was a pretty, a nice pink. Um, not like a powder pink, because she's not a girly girl. She takes after me. Um, so I'm going to try and show this to you, and I, I'll put a picture in here as well, so that you can see. Um, I have not mastered the art of taking large um, 
video for fiction. So let's see here. Okay. okay, so we have ah, um, <laughs> these blocks along the top. What happened was I messed up. Um, ideally, all the blocks were going to look like this, um, but um, I messed up and I said, you know what? I missed one couple. Let me just make it a full flush four. <laughs> and so those top ones are kind of wonky. Um, and then the other ones. Or that alternating um, with the pink and blue, and it's kind of an interesting um, effect. And that's just all it is all the way through. Um, and so I, I have the pink um, in like frames around each of the foot blocks, and then I have a pink border. Um, and you know, I and soon I was hoping like yesterday this would have happened, but it didn't. Um, Obviously, I'm going to put a backing. I'm going to put some batting in there, uh, but I can't find a good. Um, oh, it's over here. I can't find a good backing fabric, and I went to Hancock and I spent about an hour there, and I just was not satisfied with what I found. And I had two fabrics in my hand, and I almost bought them, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. it they weren't perfect. Um, <laughs> so I am on the quest for a good fabric to use, and I may go out again to another fabric store today. Ooh, adjust that, um, and hopefully I can find that. But I did buy the, the batting, and I also bought some fun teal quilting thread, and I'm excited to use that. So yes, yay, exciting! I think I've taken up way too much time. Um, so with that said, let me put this over here. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm looking forward to seeing your videos. Um, I'm going to be, I'm house sitting for the next um, nine days, so I won't be quite as um, quick to respond to messages or to responses to my videos, and I probably will take me a while to get through your we Talking Tuesday videos. But I'm thinking of you all, hoping you're well, and looking forward to seeing all that you have to bring to the table this week. Hope you're well.